guys, today I'm going to talk about thrush in infants. Um, I have my notes here, so if I'm looking down. My daughter, Cassidy, is two months old now, and we brought her to her two-month-old well child check to find out that she had thrush, which we suspected anyway. So, um, thrush is a yeast infection of the mouth, um, it's when the growth of yeast is, like, out of control. And, um, it happens in babies because their immune systems are so low. And you can tell that they have it by white patches in their mouth, which is how when Cassidy had it because her tongue was all white. And at first the doctor um, saw the white tongue and said, oh, it might just be milk on the tongue. But then when she did a further exam with the tongue depressor and that, on the light, found it on her cheeks also, so I knew she had thrush. Um, my son Oliver, who's now four, also had thrush when he was a baby, but he was older. He was like, maybe seven or eight months um, old. So, so. Um, what they prescribed for Cassidy was nystatin, and she gets it four times a day, so it's like every six hours. Um, you're supposed to squirt one milliliter in each side of her cheek, and she hates it. Like, I have to put it in little by little by little, otherwise she gags on it and spits it all out. It's like yellow, so it's all in the bib, you can see it. Um, and sometimes she spits, I mean, she spits up anyway, but once she spits up, you can see all the yellow in the spit up. Um, the other thing that I have to do because I'm breastfeeding is um, treat myself so that I, if I'm just treating her because she's breastfeeding, it's also on me. It's just going to go back and forth, back and forth. So I need to be treated also. Um, when I had my son, when he was older, they prescribed a uh, nice statin cream for me to put on my nipples to treat me. Because Cassidy's only two months old, um, my OB doesn't want to use that yet, and told me to try something called Genitine Violet, which um, is purple. You put it on, I would put it on me, and then um, I don't have to wipe it off or anything. It's all right to go on her mouth. And then 48 hours later, put it on again, and it should make it go away. Um, the thing is, it stains everything. It makes baby's mouth purple. If you aren't breastfeeding any previous thrush, you gotta still um, be careful with bottles, pacifiers. Kind of doesn't take her pacifier anymore. She would a little bit, but she never really liked it. And the past couple times I tried to give it to her, she like would gag on it. So I'm like, okay, pacifier's done. But if you do, you gotta wash them. Super careful, hot, hot water, or boil them. Um, to make sure that the yeast is getting off of them, and you're not just putting it back in baby's mouth. Um, I had a breastfeeding counselor that I talked to on the phone, um, like every other week. And I was talking to her about it, and she had some, like, home tips because she dealt with it so many times. Um, she said for the mother to drink, or to drink, to eat plain yogurt helps, and also to put plain yogurt right on your nipples and just wipe it off before you feed the baby, that it also helps. Um, because it can be painful for the mother, too. And so the past, like, a couple days it wasn't, but then, like, when I found out that she had thrush in the nursing her, now it's starting to be painful. So, um... The other thing is to like dry the nipples and put the lanolin on to help with the sore nipples from that. Um, the other thing the um, breastfeeding counselor told me was um, if you want to treat your clothing, like your um, nursing bras and stuff like that, if you wash them, you could put grape seed extract, a couple of drops from the laundry, and then dry your clothes in the sun. Um, all things that would help. I guess the grape seed. Extract. It's kind of expensive, though, so I'm not going to do that. But um, drying my clothes out in the sun, that's something easy to do. So um, those are the couple things I want to share about thrush. I am going to show you what my daughter's mouth looks like um, so you can see it just for reference. So here's that. Okay, guys, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll talk to you next time.